Hey guys, welcome back to another Large Things Jam session. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but I really didn't have anything, uh, any good content lined up for it. But I've been working on a project that is a little bit different. Now, I really don't know how to describe it, so let's just listen. something uh, I really don't know how to describe because I've basically taken a string off of the guitar and made it a five string instrument mainly because one of my pegs is it uh, separated and came into two pieces and when I changed my strings the last time it happens but I, I haven't really taken the time to work with it any and then one day I said well uh, I've been trying to experiment with turning the guitar into, I suppose you call it tuned in fifths, I believe. Uh, I'm not really sure about that. I'm not well versed in music lingo uh, as well as I should be, really. But basically, it's I've taken the tuning of, I suppose, what you would call an octave instrument and uh, a mandolin or a violin, I really don't know what to say. But basically, it's the top string is C. And then G, D, A, E. I've taken the G string off. Uh, I noticed that the notation didn't work as well with it still there. And if you tune it down another fifth, that's an F and that's that's too low. I couldn't get the notation right because the string would bend too much on the fret and there's really no place I've heard that low of a note except in a bass instrument or like a, I suppose, a piano. But I didn't really think that was necessary so I just took one string off. I saw a video online talking about a Renaissance guitar that had five strings and I said, well... So uh, I got to working with it some and I love how the mandolin plays. I like the style, I like the feel. Uh, for some reason, how a guitar is tuned has never really worked with me for some reason. My, I, don't, I don't know, it's, it's just something that I've always struggled with. So I said, um, one of these days I'm gonna invest in either a, an octave type instrument or a, maybe a mandola. But in the meantime, I wanted to just experiment some with this this layout. It's a bit of a stretch to play like they say uh, mandocello, I believe it's called is. They say that's a, a really difficult note. Uh, a stretch to play. I was also able to work out the major chords. Let's go with uh, G, C, D, Basically, all you're doing is just combining the chords of a mandola and a mandolin together since you have this extra C string. And in a mandola, you have the C string, but you don't have the E string. But with this design or this layout, you do. And again, all I did was just take off the G string, and that is the third one. Well, I suppose you could call that it's either the fourth string or the third string, but it's most people that have a guitar will know which string I'm talking about that I just removed all together. I also have the E chord, which is, a, I think, the worst. That is the hardest one to do with this layout. If you can do it, it has a really deep sound. There's the A chord. And uh, the F and B chords are... They are the... They are the... Um, among the most different because you have to go all the way down here 
to get them. There's really not an open solution that I've found yet. Uh, I might find it, but as, as of making this video, I haven't yet, I've yet to do that. It's, uh, it's a very unique setup, and this is originally the guitar I installed the tone wood amp on. So I may not keep this setup long because I have no idea what it's going to do to the neck. I don't know if it's going to cause uh, any warping of the neck in the wrong direction. I'm, I'm not real sure about that. I've, I don't know that much about instruments. If anybody knows um, in the comments, if you let me know if you're like a designer or a maker, what you think about this setup because I'm, I'm not really sure what to say about it. It's just something I tried. I've been experimenting with this kind of thing on a guitar for a while, and it's not really, I'm not really gotten anywhere. So, but you basically turn a guitar into more of an octave type instrument, I guess. Uh, it's something interesting that I wanted to share that I've been working on, and maybe you found it interesting too. If you're considering modifying a guitar like this, it really doesn't cost anything. You just have to take off the G string and tune things down just a bit. interesting I suppose. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it hopefully gives you I don't know something else to think about if you want to maybe think about purchasing a, an octave type instrument or something along those lines maybe. I don't know. So thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.